Well, the beginning of the week looking pretty nice out there, actually. Taking a look at downtown, just looking west, seeing a few clouds to help paint this sunset for your Monday. It was a warm day today. It is starting to cool off. Low 60s currently, 61 here in downtown, and seeing those across the board for most already starting to see some 50s as well. Sterling City at 59, 58 towards Big Lake, and yes, out towards Mason, hitting 57 as well. So it is going to cool off, and tonight is the one night for this week before we have the cold front come through that is going to be getting below freezing. We're going to get to 31 for most. Some will see getting into those upper 20s because it is a clear night with one or two clouds. It's allowing that heat to escape. And then tomorrow, if you thought today was nice and warm, tomorrow is going to be the same thing. Low 70s are going to be coming back. We're going to see one or two clouds, but we're in a warming trend for us. And that is because of a combination of a few things, things at the surface and in the upper atmosphere, allowing high pressure over the Rockies. That's keeping them cool, but we're seeing out towards the Pacific and upper atmosphere high is bringing in all of that warm air into the state so as we go into the week we're going to see a gradual warming up by wednesday we're going to watch that move east that's going to bring mid 70s into wednesday and into thursday and then we'll watch this cold front here it's very late on thursday it starts to enter the state by friday morning we'll see it starting to slowly cool us down giving some a little bit of some rain chances but very isolated and mostly staying out of the Contra Valley. Not a blast of cold air coming with that cold front. You kind of see all of that is staying well towards our north. So we'll get back to normal this time of year. So we'll get down to the low 60s and lows getting back into the freezing temperatures as that slowly pushes east. So like I said, the rain chances are very isolated and very early on the Friday. You can take a look. It is going to stay out towards the east we're seeing some towards brady a little bit more cloud cover further south it is all staying out of the contra valley but we could see one or two in the eastern counties and then a clear night for the rest of our friday allowing the heat to escape and that's when we're going to get back to lows getting into the freezing some low 30s and possible to see some of those 20s so after a very nice day today with the low 70s if you don't like cold temperatures, this week is for you because we're hitting 75 by Wednesday. Wednesday and Thursday, we'll have to see how close we get to tying those records for our record highs because 75 is pretty high for this time of year. Usually, we're hitting low 60s, but it's going to be nice in the mornings on the cool side, but not chilly like we're seeing tonight with below freezing, 31 and some 30s. Friday, there is that slight chance for those rain chances, and that cooler air is already coming in 66 for our high and then saturday sunday more normal december is when it gets back we're seeing low 60s some of those upper 50s but lows are getting back towards freezing and some of those 20s that's normal for us this time of year but what isn't normal is this rest of this week we're seeing low 70s 75 as we go into wednesday and even possible to see that on thursday with 73 as that cold front is slowly moving across very early on friday and not everyone's seeing those rain chances those are going to be mostly towards the east, and then we'll get back to normal for the weekend.